Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the Manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. I'm a model and I won't date any man who earns less than $206,000 a year. My ultra-strict dating rules help me avoid liars with bad hygiene. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to Mr. Anonymous for this article. I'm not going to read the whole message, but I will read this part of his message so you can have a little bit of an understanding of where he's coming from. Before you decide whether you are going to cover this story, I actually want to simp a little bit for Chloe Amour by asking you to try being a little bit kind to her. As far as I know, she have never tried to claim that she was quote unquote tricked into making very spicy content. Unlike the colleague Lana Rhodes, hats off to Terrence Pop and coach Greg Adams for covering this. Shout out to Terrence Pop and coach Greg Adams. Salute! And she seems to own who she is. You can find out that she was also interviewed back in 2014 by Adult DVD Talk. Note. If you want a quote from my email, you might find it repulsive that I wish Chloe are more well in the future. I want to be anonymous. Mr. Anonymous, salute! What I want you to understand is that we are not talking to women on this channel. Women are going to do whatever they want to do regardless. Just like Chloe are more. It's a waste of time trying to convince these women to be pragmatic, responsible and mature in their ways. Many, 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 many have tried. That's why we're engaging with men and offering valuable content to help you protect yourself at all times from situations involving individuals like Chloe Amour. We're going to get into this article titled, I'm a model and I won't date any man who earns less than 206000 a year. My ultra strict dating rules help me avoid liars with bad hygiene. Now you will notice that nowhere in this article is it mentioned that she is a prom star. Well, why wouldn't she mention that? I wonder why. I'm gonna need some help reading this article. Dennis, switch to avatar mode. Will do, sir. Avatar mode activated. Looking good, Dennis. Thank you, sir. I'm ready to get into this dating foolishness. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? Yeah. A model has shared her ultimate dating strategy to weed out the liars with bad hygiene. Chloe Amor, 32, has revealed her tactic that helps her eliminate unworthy suitors and find ones who are also earning as much as her, with an impressive annual salary of $206,058 or higher. Despite a huge online following of dedicated fans, the model has given herself a strict list of dating do's and don'ts to avoid unsuitable men. The content creator, from Los Angeles, has revealed that she is no longer open to anyone closed-minded and instead often ups for more mature, older men. Financial security is a green flag for the model despite some people judging her for it. You see? Model and content creator. These are politically correct terms. Look here. Close minded is written in quotations. Yesterday we made a video about this leftover woman and I called her average in quotations. I was being politically correct. You guys are smart. We've been doing this for three years. So this sentence is a subtle shaming attack. You must be immature and close minded if you're not open to dating prom stars. Same thing goes for single mothers. Same thing goes for fat women. Same thing goes for not dating women that the wall knocked into oblivion. Same thing goes for not giving a shit how much money she makes. The model with 984,000 followers believes that finances in her future partner are key, with the star raking in more than $20,000 a month online. Chloe didn't come from money and her single mother struggled while raising her and her sister. That is why it's important for her that the man she did date either made an equivalent salary or more, otherwise she wouldn't even consider him as a potential suitor. Although that is not the only thing that is important to the model, it is at the top of the list. 
<laughs> Woo! Here we go again. Can you imagine what would happen if men would have this same standard of women making the equivalent salary or more? This world would have died out a long time ago. Check this out. We're experiencing a mating market crisis is because of hypergamy. Women tend to want to marry up, but the problem is women are doing so well in school and also career-wise. They're becoming more and more equal and in some ways they're becoming better. What happens is that you have less and less men to choose from. And so women are becoming pickier, men are becoming less qualified as a result. There's a mismatch there, you're not clearing the market anymore. Ugly Betty has the same standards as Run Ran sprinted through Chloe Amour. Women are women first. They don't give a shit about spending their money on you. They don't make their money to take care of you or the family. It's a selfish endeavor. Female nature is selfish and in modern society, it's delusional. 200K a year. She has a small chance of finding that fool, but I bet she's an optimist. I only need one. I only need to be You need up. one, but he needs to be that height. He needs to make the resources, right? Yeah. He needs to be funny. He needs to be charismatic. He needs to be disciplined. And that doesn't yeah. discourage you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm an optimist. But no. Then I like yeah, it. Yeah, but like no, it. I mean. An optimist. The, 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 the. She wants to feel safe in settling down with someone who can provide for themselves and their potential future family. On her list of must-haves she revealed emotional intelligence and being a good kisser were important for her. Meanwhile, her turn-off list included dishonesty, bad hygiene and too much partying. You don't want to kiss this woman after seeing some of her mugshots that are just a Google search away. You don't want to put your kids through this traumatic experience of mama being all over the internet Double, triple penetrated, finished off with semen sauce. Like I said before, I'm not talking to her. The damage is already done. You cannot undo the hot dog carousel she's been riding since she was 18 years old. You cannot undo the internet. All of her content is online forever. Do you want to be associated with that? Chloe says she looks for someone who is confident, independent, smart, funny, spiritual, driven, understanding, non-judgmental, sexually experienced, and someone who is willing to learn from her. Chloe also wants a good listener and communicator, and a special someone who makes her feel wanted and safe. Someone who takes accountability for their mistakes and admits when they're wrong is another green flag for the model. Her type are men who have dark features and are tan. She is also drawn to clean-shaven brunettes whose hair isn't longer than hers and who work out but aren't too muscular or bulky. The model doesn't go based on looks first, but she prefers older men because it takes guys a longer time to mature and get more experienced in different areas of their lives. I don't look out for older divorced men but prefer he hasn't been married or has kids, she said. For Chloe, the need to release a list of do's and don'ts when dating came after some particularly bad experiences while playing the field. Blah, 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 blah. Nowhere in this article will you find any mention of the value she provides to a man. It's all, I want, I want, me, 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 me. Someone who makes me feel wanted and safe. What's in it for the guy? This confident guy, this smart guy with a sense of humor, sexually experienced, and is making the equivalent salary or more. This man has options. If you are this man, why in the blue hell would you settle for this? What are the benefits? To say that this woman makes you look bad is a significant understatement. During one of her dates, she got so embarrassed because her date got super drunk and sloppy and ended up getting kicked out of the venue. She got recognized while all this was happening and ended up staying at the venue with her fans. She labeled one of her casual dates a mooch and a liar because he convinced her to pay for everything and promised he'd pay her back but never did. 
Chloe advises people to stray away from dating apps. She tried both Bumble and Tinder for fun or when she was bored, but she's noticed that the men on the app are not physically attractive or confident. I really don't care what she has to say. I don't care about her dating experiences because she is in for a bumpy and painful ride. Listen. Whether it's their family, their friendships, but I tell them for the rest of your life, every man you meet is going to want to be with you, but they're not going to want to be with you. What a lie. But it's real. Yeah. They want to be with you, yeah. but they don't want to be with you. They don't want to be your emergency contact number. They don't want to bring you around their family. They don't want to have you around all their friends. They want to be with you. So that is a is a real thing. And so I never thought that the internet would happen. You know, when we were on film, we were living double lives. Nobody knew who we were. Uh, then the internet happens. I'm like, okay, double life, no more. <laughs> These women can't help but crave the top 10% men. They can still well into their 40s, but no man of value is gonna wife these women up. That's why I want you to have standards. Walk away. Don't settle for these low quality women. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. Run! Get to the chopper! This last part about her being on dating apps looking for physically attractive men is universal. Check this out. Compatible you are of values. You don't want to just judge someone of how he looks and then say no. Uh, I'm a bit early, but I guess I might just go in and just wait and yeah, we'll see what happens. I think I caught a glimpse of him just now when we were recording and uh, yeah, he looks a bit pimply. Oh, I don't think I like his face. You should base how compatible you are of values. You don't want to just judge someone of how he looks and then say no. Okay, fine. So I lied. Looks do matter. But we didn't click anyways, so it's alright. Manasphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.